Today we're going to check out how to make this awesome composition here in Illustrator. For the font, I'm going to go with Humane, and I'm going to select the Humane Bold. This is a free font you can download. I can leave a link in the description, and I'm going to scale it up. Press and hold Alt, drag it down. I'm going to double click on it and rename it. Now let's select both of the texts. Right click, select Create Outlines, and I'm going to zoom in on the first text, and I'm going to go and select the Pen tool. Let's swap it from Fill to Stroke. Click on the Stroke so it's going to be on the top, and I'm going to choose a color. Right now I'm going to go with something more vibrant, and let's go here at the beginning of the text, and I'm going to add an anchor point. Press and hold Shift so it's going to make it straight, and I'm going to go here somewhere at the letter R, and I'm going to drag it, press and hold Shift. Now I'm going to click on this anchor point here so it's going to make it straight. Press and hold Shift where the anchor point is basically intersecting, and I'm going to connect it right here. I'm going to swap it from Stroke to Fill, and I'm going to select the Reflect tool. Press and hold Alt and click on this anchor point here, and I'm going to select Horizontal, click on Copy, press and hold Shift, select both shapes. Let's go to Pathfinder and click on Unite. I'm also going to bring this here somewhere, and I'm going to arrange it, stretch it out a little bit more. Let's go to Object, Path, and select Offset Path. And with this, we're gonna set up the distance in between the text, and I'm gonna decrease it more. I'm gonna try it out with five. You also can go to the Join and select Around. And I'm gonna click OK. So now we got two shapes. We got the skinnier one and the thicker one. I'm gonna select the thicker one, press and hold Shift and select the text as well. And I'm gonna press Shift plus M, or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt, and I'm going to start dragging a line like this, so it's going to remove these elements right here. So if I select this shape, I'm going to swap it, and as you can see, it's empty. All right, so now I'm going to go with the vision, and make sure that the vision is on the bottom of this stroke. So let's say if it's on the top of the stroke, like here, I'm going to right-click on it, Arrange, and select Send to Back. I'm going to select both with the stroke and the text, and let's go to Object, Envelope Distort, and select Make with Top Object. And as you can see, it is going to mess it up quite a bit. Now, I don't have a clear idea why it's doing this, but I'm going to press Ctrl Z. And what I was thinking is because this area is too thin. So I'm going to go and select the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point, and I'm going to try to modify the handle. And as you can see, the handles are sticking to each other. So I'm going to go and convert it to round, I mean to smooth. Now I'm going to press and hold Alt. And I'm going to put it like this. I won't make them reflect it. I'm going to do it like manually and just eyeball it and try to make it imperfect. So I'm going to go with like this. So let's try this again. I'm going to select the stroke line of the text, object, envelope distort. And now it worked. And I can modify this further. I'm going to select the direct selection tool. And I'm going to go with one of the anchor points and just customize the handles. When you're satisfied with the results, select the text, go to Object, and select Expand. Click OK. And now I want to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool and just customize it however you like. I also want to make this text a little bit more rounded, so I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool, and I'm going to go and select some of the parts, for example, this here, and make it more rounded, or these guys, and make it look nice. So this is how it looks refined. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.